To create an AVI file to upload to the digital picture frames or really to for anything, here is how you would use iMovie to create an AVI file. First things first, you have to go ahead and import your flip videos or any of the videos that you have and have them in a file folder on your computer. Then you'd pull up iMovie, which I already have, and then you're going to start a new project. So you're going to go file, oops, sorry, file, new project, and you can just name it um, AVI or whatever you're trying to do or the name or the actual subject of the video and create. What that will do is it'll start a new iMovie project. And then what we need to do is import the video into iMovie. So you go to file, import, and import movies. Then you're going to navigate to wherever you save the video, and for this specific topic, I just saved it on the desktop. And you can do more than one video or however you want to do that, and then just click import. That will import the video onto iMovie so that you can click and drag it into your project area. So it might take a second to process the event. And when it says processing event, what it's going to do is it's going to put it down over here in your event library. So if you ever need that video again or you need to work on it, that's what you can do. Once this video has been pulled into the project area, we're going to turn up the volume so that we can hear it on the digital picture frames. If you're not using this for digital picture frames, just skip this step. So I guess we'll just wait just a minute. And while we're talking, again, I'm just kind of showing you how to use iMovie to take your video, like let's say it's a a flip share that or a flip video that you created you want to turn up the volume for really good volume on the digital picture frames so now it's processing and I now have this new video so I can click on the video and this yellow area is gonna highlight and I'm just gonna kinda drag click and drag it to the whole video so here's that whole video that I just did of this let's just say this is a teacher then I click and I drag and I put it up into the project area. Now, if I wanted to, um, I'm going to change the sound. So right now it's kind of kind of low. So I'm going to go to the top left hand corner of the first part of the frame and there's like a little mm, like gear and I'm going to go to audio adjustments and inside audio adjustments the very first top will be volume. So you're just going to click and drag it up maybe to like 130, 140 percent and then click done and then try it again. Hello, I'm Lynn Michelle. Still I'd like to make it a little louder. So up, I'm going to use my little gear, audio adjustments, I'm going to pull it even louder. Hello, I'm Lynn Michelle. Much better. Now that my volume is ready, all I have to do is export this iMovie so that it's ready to go. So we're going to go up to share and this time we're going to go to export using QuickTime. Um, we're going to choose, once we choose export with QuickTime, it's going to actually give us an export file so we can actually name it whatever we want. Right now it's doing it as an MOV, but what we want to do is take this export and change it from QuickTime to AVI. And once you do that, you can call this test video or whatever you want to call it, like lesson one, lesson four, and then just hit save. And once you start doing that, it will export the project um, onto wherever you had chosen. I just chose the desktop. Um, and then that file will be ready for the digital frames. Or it will just be exported as an AVI. So that's all it is.